Welcome back to Sporn's Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how I batch test mushroom liquid culture jars for contamination. In this example, I'll be testing 10 jars of Lion's Mane liquid culture. So here I'm using a sterile syringe and needle to extract around half of a milliliter of liquid culture from each jar using a new needle between jars. If you want, you can take a chance and flame sterilize one needle ten times. By combining a tiny bit of liquid culture from each jar into one syringe, I'm able to test the syringe to see if contamination is present in one or some of the ten liquid culture jars. Once I've extracted some liquid culture from each jar, I shake the syringe and squeeze a drop of it onto a nutrient agar plate. I seal the plate with parafilm and then incubate at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. After a few days, I could see yeast contamination on the agar plate which signifies that one or some of the 10 jars are contaminated. If this test would have shown clean results, then all 10 jars would have passed. But that brings us to phase two, where I have to individually test each jar, knowing I will find contamination somewhere, and this will help me to be sure of which jars are clean. I label 10 nutrient agar plates 1 through 10 and have corresponding label for each jar, that way I can keep track. I also had to use 10 more needles and 10 syringes. Now I just do the same thing to test each jar individually, extract a tiny bit and squeeze a drop onto an agar plate.
Once all 10 agar plates have been inoculated, I incubate them at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. A few days later, I was able to weed out which jars were contaminated. Jar number one was contaminated. Jar two is most likely contaminated. If you look very close, you can see these tiny blobs, which I'll be keeping my eye on. Jar three was clean. Jar four was clean. Jar five was clean. Jar 6 was clean as well. Jar 7 is clean. Jar 8 was clean. Jar 9 was clean. and jar 10 was contaminated. So I found three contaminated jars out of all 10 jars using this two-phase batch testing method. I hope this video helps you if you were looking for methods to quality control multiple jars efficiently. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.